Hi there, Adam Wong here, and I'm excited to be here to introduce you to our new skills assessment. We've been talking about it for quite some time, and I want to take a few moments to introduce you to the new report names, what the new look's going to look like, and a few other things. So sit back, let's dive on in. So first off, let's talk about the evolution of our skills. So what we have here are three different apples, right? So we have green apple, the yellow apple, the red apple. Now, are we comparing apples to apples when we're talking about different skills? In the past, no, we have not. But what we're trying to go to is one set of skills or one common apple. So in the past, uh, we've had three sets of skills. On the left, you have Trimetrics DNA. That has 23 skills in it, and that is measuring what you've been recognized for. On the right-hand side, you have the red apple. That's Trimetrics Legacy. It has 23 skills as well, but it's all about your potential. Right? So what is your capacity to actually do something? And then a few years back, we took a combination of those and created the apple in the middle, Trimetrics HD. So we took 17 skills from the green apple, 8 skills from the red apple, and then we created the yellow apple in the middle, which is Trimetrics HD, which has 25 skills. So it's a hybrid of what you've been recognized for, and also what is your potential. So you can see how this can become a bit of a challenge for UVAAs, right? as, as you switch from one product line to newer product lines, the skills are switching. It can be a challenge when you're doing job benchmarks, how there can be a lack of consistency, and also on your customers if you're trying to transition them. So our goal, our long-term goal, is to have one set of competencies or skills that can be measured from two different sides. So you can measure from what have you been recognized for, but also what's your potential to actually do it. And we're finally about there and we're excited to actually announce some of the new reports that will be available uh, this Monday. So let's start with the new DNA 25. So if you're using Trimetrics DNA or the DNA report, you know it has 23 skills. Well now it's going to have, the newer version is going to have 25 skills. And you see in the bottom right hand corner we have those yellows highlighted. So four brand new ones. You're going to have personal accountability, resiliency, understanding others, and conceptual thinking. We did remove two. So we removed two of the skills that we consider were hard skills. They're presenting and written communication. So those are no longer in the new report, but they are still available in the older DNA or the older Trimetrics DNA. So I talked a little bit about how we want to be able to look at the skills from two angles. You know, what have you been recognized for, but also what's your true potential or what's your true capacity to do these skills? So imagine a gap report. And this is just a preliminary visual. So this, this page isn't actually done yet. This will be being released in 2016. But look at this first one. Imagine if you had a gap report that looks at a person for what have they been recognized for, so what can they actually do? But then you have a job score, so what does the job need? Like the job here is about a, a 72. And then what's their potential as a triangle? So in other words, this person has a potential to do very, very well in this skill, but they're performing way down here about the 60 range. So what's that potential to increase? And you see, so that's what we're trying to do is identify what is your actual skill base? What can you do right now? But then based on a hybrid of your behavioral style, your driving forces, and your Hartman or your capacity, what is your true potential in that skill set? So that's where we're shifting towards, and that is going to be available in just a couple of months. But there is some stuff that's available right now, actually starting on Monday. So let me go ahead and minimize this and go to another sheet I want to show you. So this is a glance at the old DNA 23 and the new 25. On the left-hand side, you have a list of all the current 23 DNA skills. And on the right-hand side, you can see that we've made some subtle tweaks. Let's look at analytical problem solving. So we slightly changed the questions in the questionnaire for analytical problem solving to get specifically to problem solving. So you see it's, it's a new one, it's identified new. And there's 12 of these that didn't change at all, like conflict management didn't change. Continuous learning did not change. So the names are exactly the same. But then we have changed some others, like customer service changed to customer focus. And we did slightly tweak the questions in order to go with customer focus. So as you go down the list, you'll see we have some new names, some of them very, very similar, some of them slightly different. On the very bottom, you'll notice we have those four brand new ones I already mentioned. Resiliency, understanding others, conceptual thinking, and personal accountability. And then it shows that we did remove the presenting and the written communication. All right, so this document here is going to be available for you. 
in addition to what's here on the video. So you'll be able to get this document. And then also, I go a little bit deeper and try to explain what that's going to look like and how is this going to impact you, how, what the report name is going to look like. So current Trimetrics DNA and Trimetrics HD reports will be considered legacy products. All right, so those the current reports you're using will be considered legacy. And then we have the newer versions that are being released right now. So let's start with Trimetrics DNA. So if you're a Trimetrics DNA user, all of your links will not change. Right? Your links are going to stay the same. You'll also be able to create those exact same links if you want to stay on the old ones for a little while. But if you're an early adopter and you want to jump onto the newer report, you're going to go into your system and create some new links, and it's going to still be called Trimetrics DNA, but it's going to say New 25. And that's going to include your New 25 skills, your full disk report like you're used to, and your full driving forces like you're used to. So that's going to include brand new driving forces and also the new 25 skills. If you're using the Trimetrics DNA Legacy, it's identical to what it is right now. Right? It's going to be your 23 skills, the disk, and either the motivators or the driving forces. So switching down to Trimetrics HD, so those of you that are Trimetrics HD certified, you'll also have a new option. You can go to the new 25 skills. So if you're, the current name will become Trimetrics HD Legacy. And then, so if you want to create a new link, you're going to want to select Trimetrics HD New 25 if you want to use the New 25 skills. All right, and that'll also include your driving forces automatically. And the slide I just showed you a couple slides back that identified the what is your skill set, you know, what have you been recognized for, but also what is your potential and what does that gap look like, that is coming soon. So that will be coming in 2016. Uh, so we don't have that one just yet. We actually just need some more data to identify what those correlations are. All right, so this, again, this document will be available to you. Let's go on to another. Let's take a look at the sample report. So this is the sample of the DNA25. It'll look very similar if you're using the Trimetrics HD report as well. So here we have an introduction page. Then we're going to have all 25 skills, and these are going to be in order of your highest to lowest. And this is just sample report. So you'll see like creati creativity innovation is Rick's number one, scoring at 100 orientation number two and you can see it kind of has a piano grand piano effect and it scales downward so this is an order of his highest to lowest then if we go on to the next page it's going to show us the the same 25 skills in the same order and it's going to show we now have the means and standard deviations so those of you that were using the reports in beta you identified that we did not have those yet because we were capturing the data to make them but we now have the means and standard deviations on here so you're going to have all 25 as we scroll through. You will then have a summary of the top competencies. So you're going to have the definition and then several bullet points of like what's sum it's summarizing these competencies, uh, their best ones, and it's going to have their top seven. All right, so that's going to be the report. So th these pages will be available in DNA 25 just all by itself if you're just running the skills. It'll also be available in Trimetrics DNA and Trimetrics HD. Trimetrics HD, excuse me. All right, so now let's go into IDS. So if you're an IDS and you're creating a new link, you're now going to see these, these new names. So for example, those of you that are Trimetrics HD certified, you're going to see two options. You're going to see Trimetrics HD New 25. That's the indicator that this is the new link. And you'll see it's going to include disk, driving forces, the DNA 25, and the ACI section. If you're not ready to jump over to the new 25, you're going to use this one, the Trimetrics HD Legacy. All right, and, and likewise, those of you that are not using HD but maybe you're using Trimetrics DNA, you're going to want to select the link that's Trimetrics DNA New 25, and that's going to include Disk, Driving Forces, DNA 25. All right, so a couple other things that we haven't touched on here is we do have an FAQ document all ready to go. We're going to have sample reports available for you. And, of course, you can make your own if you want to go in there and, and make your own. Uh, in regards to job benchmarks, a question we already had is, will the old job benchmarks work with the new reports? They will not, right? Because the old job benchmarks, they, that does have a different set of skills, so we're not, com not comparing apples to apples if we're using old skills to new skills. So those of you that are using benchmarks, and if you do want to use the new reports, which we encourage you to do, you will just be able to do a new benchmark using the new Trimetrics HD 
25 job reports or the Trimetrics DNA 25 job reports. So either way, you'll have to do a new benchmark there. And we already have the gap reports done, the job talent comparisons done, so all those are done. Uh, how about pricing? Will pricing increase? No, the prices for these reports are identical. So regardless if you're using the new or the old, currently the prices will remain the same. So there's no price increase for the new reports. And uh, we encourage uh, some questions, so feel free to give us a call. And we hope you jump right on board and like all the work we put into this. And we will be having some webinars coming up, so look out for those dates so you can register. But in the meantime, check it out. If you have any questions, please feel free to give our, our team a call, 1-800-869-6908. And that's all for today. Thank you very much.